Coach, is the toughest opponent that you faced this season. What are overall takeaways from, from the game? Still a little early. Um, the first five minutes of the second period, I'm disappointed in that. Um, I, I didn't hate the first period. I, I <clears throat> Looking at their first goal, um, I thought we had a couple of opportunities to play that puck in front of our net versus not. And and uh, we, we we talked to our group about make sure you're aware of who you're out there against. We didn't. But we felt like we had a couple of chances. It wasn't an even period by any means, but we had a couple of chances there. And then everything was fine, and, and we kind of... We, we, we go sideways there the first little bit of the second period, and you do that against this team. Uh, and then we were chasing the game from then on, I, I thought. I, again, I, I don't think the first period was an even period. They, they had the better of the play, but I didn't feel us chasing the game like I felt like we were. Um, you know, once we got down 2 nothing, we got a little bit fortunate on the, on the challenge there. And uh, we, just couldn't, we just couldn't find it, you know? We just couldn't find it. Um, so I, I don't want to... I've said this before, and I don't know if it makes much sense to anybody outside of me. I don't want to, um, I don't want to overthink it, but I don't want to underthink it either. I don't. I, I think some of the older people need to be more involved. Um, we still had some young guys playing up front, and and some young guys on the back end. But I think we need some older guys to play better. Um, all in all, not happy. Um, but we pick ourselves up and we go back to work. What did you see? You mentioned the challenge. What uh, What did you see you, that the officials didn't see that you saw the kick and uh, well, we, and we challenged it? What, what we saw from the bench is we saw their stick being controlled by our defensemen. So there's only one way you could put the puck in the net. So it was either redirected or it was kicked. Um, and we got call from, from upstairs, uh, our, our coaches that are in the press box, and they'd made a great call. And, um, you know, I think it was, it, was, it was the right thing to do at that time again. But what we saw from the bench was the player in front of the net who got credit for the goal, his stick was, was, was in the air. So there was no way he, 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 he hit it in with a stick. So he, he directed it or kicked it with a skate. And, and uh, fortunate for us, they, they said he, he kicked it in. For large stretches of the game, much of the game, able to skate with them. Um, defensively, it seemed like you were able to clear a lot of the pucks to the side. Um, not allow them to get in their comfort zone in, in the, the middle of the, the ice. How were you able to really control that for, for most of the game? Really? I, I'm, not, I'm not totally sure I, I saw it necessarily that way. I, 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 uh, they're a really good team. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're fast. Their big guys are fast. Obviously, that decor is special. I mean, that's the, those top five people were the same five guys that won the national title last year, the same goaltender that won the national title. You can see it. Um, but we thought even, even those guys are susceptible to turning over pucks and, and, and those kind of things. And we just, we just were not good with the puck, in our opinion, through the neutral zone, at least over the course of 60 minutes. You've got to make a team like that continuously go back in their own zone, continuously try to break pucks out, and hopefully you can get there and create a turnover or two and make them go 200 feet. We just, we just didn't think consistently we, were, we, we, we did that. So um, we'll go to the tape. Um, obviously, we'll take the good, and, and, and we'll try to correct the bad and, uh, and hopefully uh, put up a better fight tomorrow. When you're in the offensive zone, you sustain some pressure at times and, and really able to keep the puck in. You're buzzing around the net, um, but just limited on a number of shots that you're able to get yeah. through. And then Corona, obviously, when Those, they came through. That, I totally agree with that. I, I, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't sustained, but I thought we did have some ozone time. No puck luck tonight around their net for sure. We we probably didn't earn it, but but we could have we could have used the bounce. Um, uh, and and obviously the, the, their goaltender is really good. I, I don't remember them blocking as many shots or at least attempting to block as many shots in the past as they did tonight. Uh, uh, credit to them. Um, but we 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 struggled. When the puck went low to high, we struggled with our defenseman getting the puck on net. We, we had to consistently just shoot it back around and, and kind of restart it. And, and that's, that's really, really difficult, man. I mean, it, it, it's tough enough to get it and get it low to high. We, we need our D-men to find a way to get pucks through there and, and, and hopefully get to Corona and, and, and where we can get to second and third opportunities, which we just weren't able to do tonight, at least consistently. Um. 
the penalties that I mean that yeah. was a large part of the game. What's uh, what's it take to stay out? Yeah, uh, you know, is is it is it, it it's it's outside of, of of one guy which we addressed internally. It's been somebody different. So do you. You know, you're talking about engaging in the fight mentally and physically. You're talking about playing relentless hockey. It was a poor decision. And the thing that's more disappointing about that decision that we made is we had the puck on our stick. It should have been shot down the ice on a clear because we were on the penalty kill. Instead, we shoot it into them, and then we, we take our stick across his mask. That's disappointing. You know, that, that, that is almost out of frustration, but I do know the player. Um, I, I, he is not a guy that 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 you know loses it to frustration, or at least in, in my time with him. So, you know, I, I, unfortunately, it was just a really unfortunate play for us at a at a bad time, and I, against anybody. But I will say against against that team has uh, put us in a really difficult spot. And I thought I thought we hung in there. You know, you get the you get the challenge. It stays two nothing. We hung in there. It didn't create the momentum we were hoping it would. I didn't think, um, but we've got to find a way to get to 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 eliminate the five minute major from our game. There's no doubt about that. Looking at tomorrow, you know, it seemed like Moulton was ready to go back out. He'd be ready to play right now if he, if he had the opportunity. Dylan, when we talked to him before. Oh, he was he? Okay. Yeah, and, you know, looking into tomorrow's game, you, you've got a 4-0 loss here, but you got a, some bright spots. What do you you do to not let any frustration uh, sort of creep in into tomorrow's game? Well, I, I don't think it, what should be our main focus tonight is frustration. That's one. That's that's one game against a really, really good team. Disappointment. Maybe we could have done better. I got no problem with that. I don't think anybody should be frustrated at this point. This this is our, in our control. So I think this is a typical Friday night. The game is over. You you rest tonight, and and you come back to work on Saturday with a focus on taking advantage of an opportunity. That's it. We're not going to change that. Our, our our preparation will be the same. I I think the video will be like exactly the way we prepared them. We watched them play a bunch. That's how they play. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll tighten it up. We'll tweak it. We'll do that. We'll talk about it. But I think it's leave it and, and, and rest right now and get ready for tomorrow. But I, 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 I certainly hope the leadership doesn't allow frustration to sneak in right now. Wanting to go back out there and play again because we're disappointed that we, we could have played better, I have no problem with that. You had kind of three periods where it seemed like you guys had chances, then they'd get an opportunity on the power play or whatever, and it was 2-0 kind of into the third period. Kind of what was your sense or takeaway from the game? Um, uh, I think the result tonight is everything that we did to ourselves. I think we proved during the game that we can play with them. I mean, it's a great club they have over there, but I think there was points in the night where we showed we can control the play. Just we got to make sure we keep that momentum tomorrow night. So how do you take that kind of capitalizing and building on the positive going into tomorrow trying to get a different result? Uh, staying out of the box is a key. Uh, that can really kill our momentum, I feel like. Uh, I just think, you know, not making the turnovers that we do, getting pucks behind their D and going to work in the ozone will help us keep the momentum. It seemed like you were really able to, for large stretches of the game, push the puck out in the defensive zone, get it out along the, the boards to get a clear, didn't really give them a lot of opportunity um, for most of the game in the middle in the, that sort of dangerous zone. What were you able to do tonight to, to really control that with them? Uh, just taking time and space away. That's all I want. Uh, they showed during parts of the game when they set up in the zone, it's, it's hard to defend them. They're small, they're quick, fast. They know how to move the puck. Uh, it's just making sure that they don't set it up and you know disrupting their plays and moving the puck fast to get out of our, get out of our own zone. They also, they get up and down from their defensive end up into the offensive zone and set up so quickly. How are you able to kind of limit that and, and limit opportunities or, or odd man rushes? Uh, playing through the body, making sure to stick on puck and through the body. Uh, just getting a touch. You, I'm not saying blow up a guy. Just get a touch on the guy, slow up his momentum. Uh, it helps on rushes, you know. Uh, I felt like there was a little too many odd man rushes where they were hitting the late guy, uh, getting chances off that, and then, uh, and then it would lead to zone time. So just, you know, Making sure we get a touch on a guy, slow him up a little bit. Um, what do you think you have to do to, to solve Corona? 
Um, stay out of the box from one. Uh, we need to stop taking five minute uh, penalties. That definitely disrupted some momentum at the, the uh, start of the second. Uh, but, you know, just playing our game, you know, getting pucks deep and going to work on them. I, I think we showed it that we can do that tonight for periods of time, too, um, and just keep them that momentum. And I think if we do that tomorrow and take care of our side of the side of the puck, we'll we'll take care of business tomorrow.